Shrine Mining is an EU-funded project under the LIFE program, the EU's financial instrument, which supports environmental and climate action projects throughout the EU. In the framework of Prime Mining, we aim to provide an integrated solution for the management of coal mine effluents, including the recovery of water and salts with high purity and quality. The project is coordinated by the National Technical University of Athens and has nine partners from medium-sized enterprises, universities and research institutes in three European countries, Greece, Netherlands and Poland. A demonstration plant will be installed in Poland in order to treat a saline effluent derived from coal mining activities. Coal mining is an important sector for the European economy as coal is still used for energy production. Poland is the dominant European producer of hard coal, accounting for 96% of the total EU production. This means 54.4 million tons of hard coal per year. The coal mining sector is now under pressure as the EU aims to transition towards a climate-neutral economy with net zero emissions by 2050. Besides the greenhouse gas emissions from coal combustion, another important environmental issue is the extensive drainage of coal mine brine that comes from intensive exploitation of coal. Coal mine brine discharge results in the pollution of surface waters and limits the possibility of their use for municipal, agricultural and industrial purposes. Our first goal is to prevent brine discharge in surface waters by treating 1,000 cubic meters of coal mine brine per year. Marketable salts of high purity from brine and high purity water, useful for agriculture, industrial and municipal purposes, will be recovered creating new job opportunities. The coal mine waters have high salinity and contain many different ions, which make them an interesting case for recovering minerals. In the pilot plant, which operates at the Piazgemovit coal mine, we test technology which consists of two parts. In the first part, we use combination of chemical precipitation and nanofiltration to recover compounds such as magnesium hydroxide, calcium carbonate and gypsum. What remains is a pure sodium chloride solution, which is then fed to the second part of technology, where the combination of electrodialysis, reverse osmosis, evaporation and crystallization is used to recover both the demineralized water and evaporated salt. In this way we help not only to mitigate uh, the environmental problems related to the saline water discharge, but we also um, generate new sources of income for the coal mines because they can sell the recovered materials. Deep coal mines needs huge amount of water to be pumped out. Now the deeper the coal extraction goes, the more saline gets the mine water. In Upper Silesian Coal Basin in Poland, there are many mines which pump extremely saline mine water. In many cases, the discharge is being done to the very small rivers and therefore saline mine water 
dominates the flow of such river, uh, which makes it impossible for these rivers to reach the national or EU regulations such as uh, Water Framework Directive. Therefore, the technology proposed by LifeBrain Mining Project is very promising for improving the surface water quality in our region. The team of Central Mining Institute, Department of Water Protection, is responsible for the assessment of the impact of the technology developed by Life Brian Mining Project on the aquatic environment, as well as for the monitoring of the surface water quality in the area of uh, Piast Ziemowit mine in Lędziny.